Hi, good afternoon mga subscribers at viewers ng Maclean's TV. Uh, bago tayo pumalaot para mag-fishing, uh, kaunting siyensya naman tayo ngayon. No? So, sa hapong ito, pag-usapan natin yung uh, buoyancy. In physics, yun yung term that is uh, we always encountered while we are in high school and college. No? So, buoyancy, according to the definition, is the upward force exerted by a fluid on objects fully or partially immersed and that is always opposite to gravity. Now, there are times that some of my friends asked me, uh, Bro, why is it that uh, other objects float while other objects sink in water? And in fact, uh, ships that are so heavy, uh, heavier, much heavier than the coin, floats in water while the coin that is uh, has a very light weight sinks in water. Ganito yun. No? So, ihan tulad natin yung uh, ship at yung coin sa mga bagay na to, no? no? Of course, uh, the ship is much larger than the coin. So, just for example, this is a ship. This is a trolling lure. Trolling lure. This is hollow inside and I think uh, this is filled with air, no? Just like a ship, no, it has a hull, it has a hull. It has uh, hundreds of rooms inside filled with air. Now, if you are going to get the density of the entire ship, no, and if you are going to get the density of or the weight of the displaced water by that ship, the weight of the displaced water of that ship is much greater than the weight of the ship. Why? It is because the ship is filled with air, making its density lower than the density of the displaced water. Okay? So that's why ships float. Now why is it that coins you know, sinks in water just like this second jigging lure? Take now that it has no hollow inside part where air can occupy. This is so compact. No? So, sabihin natin, uh, of course, sir, uh, mabigat yan. Talagang lulubog yan sa tubig. Pero, scientifically speaking, no, uh, in terms of density, of course, it's very clear that the density of this 200 gram lure is uh, greater than the density of water. But, if we're going to talk about the buoyant force, no, the amount of force equivalent to the weight of the displaced water by this lure that force is clearly to be much smaller than the force or the weight of this jigging lure so for example this is 200 grams now if you're going to immerse this in water see the difference the difference in the level of water from initial to final level of water if you are going to get the weight of that uh, displaced water weight, meaning to say uh, in ml, you're going to convert that first into grams and then to kilograms, multiply it to 9.8 newtons. If, if the result is smaller than the weight of this 200 grams, because if you're going to convert this into kilograms, 200 grams is equivalent to 0 0.2 kilograms multiply it to 9.8 or 10 so just like for example if you want convenience multiply 0 0.2 kilograms to 10 so that is 2 newtons no so very clear that the weight of this jigging lure is much greater than the weight of the displaced water so in that case if the weight of the object is greater than the displaced water, that object will sink. No? Because the weight of the displaced water is equivalent or equals to the buoyant force. Meaning to say, if the weight of the object is greater than the buoyant force, the force that buoyed this object up, 
this object will sink in water. Unlike this trolling lure. No? Clearly, if you're going to immerse this into water, this lure floats and again it displaces a certain volume of water. Now, if you're going to get the weight of that uh, next time na lang of that uh, displaced water no and compared it to the weight of this uh, king eagle ewer and you will see that the weight of that displaced water is much greater than the weight of this lure meaning to say again that the buoy buoyant force no which is equivalent to the weight of the displaced water is greater than the weight of this lure so this lure will float in summary mga kaibigan kung ang bigat ng isang bagay ay mas malaki kaysa bigat ng displaced water yung bagay na yun ay lulubog at kapag ang bigat ng isang bagay ay maliit lamang sa bigat ng displaced water yung bagay na yun ay lulutang. Okay? So, ang siyensya natin ngayon ay may halong mata-mata kasi hindi natin kinukompute in actual ano talaga yung uh, uh, amount ng displaced water using our two years baka sa susunod na video natin at tinang maipakita uh, paano uh, paano natin maipakita yung uh, tamang computation no para mahilan tulad natin talaga ang uh, uh, ang mga bagay na lumubog at mga bagay na lulutang sa tubig based on uh, the buoyant force or the weight of the displaced water once again good afternoon and uh, say good luck to me because I will uh, go to fishing this afternoon don't forget to subscribe and share my video thank you very much